In this video, we're going to look at the timeline zoom settings such as full extent zoom, detail zoom, custom zoom, zoom sliders, and a keyboard shortcut, Shift Z, and what that does. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to look at is full extent zoom and what that does. So now in our current timeline, you will see that we have two video clips right now. And as we add more video clips into the timeline, we're not gonna be able to see the entire sequence at this point. Uh, we have to manually scroll left and right in order to see the rest of the sequence. And as we add more video clips, this is not going to change. Um, the default zoom setting of our timeline right now is not going to allow us to see the other parts of the sequence. So now look what happens when we click full extend zoom. Now what this does is automatically readjust the zoom setting so that we can see every single video clip that's in the timeline. And as we add more video clips, it will just automatically readjust. So it's very dynamic in nature. As you can see that as I went one more, it will once again, just automatically readjust the zoom setting so that we can see the entire sequence at all times. This also works when I try to remove video clips. So now we're more zoomed in because we're getting rid of all these video clips, but we can still see the entire sequence. Also, as we try to shorten the video clip, it also will readjust automatically. Or when we try to lengthen the video clip, it will also automatically readjust the zoom setting. So it's extremely dynamic in nature, and this is a very cool feature to use, especially at the beginning of your video editing assignment when you're just trying to bring video clips into your timeline. The second thing we're going to look at is detail zoom. Now, the thing about detail zoom is that it hinges on the location of the playhead. So the first thing I'm gonna do right here is actually move the playhead to a different position. And then if I go ahead right now and hit detail zoom, you will notice that it will find this playhead and it will zoom into the frame level. And what that is, is just a more zoomed in compared to the traditional or the default zoom setting. And it allows you to make some fine adjustment, fine cuts to your video clips, to your, to your footage. But uh, the thing with detail zoom is that, as you can see now, right now, when I move the playhead around, or uh, let's say when I try to move away from the existing or the current uh, playhead uh, to a much further, and if I wanna quickly find it or come back to it, if I click detail zoom, I'm not able to do that. So it's not dynamic like full extent zoom. And also the zoom setting, the frame level is not something we can adjust either. So personally, I don't use this setting that very often. Nonetheless, you may find it helpful in your video editing assignment. Next, we're going to look at custom zoom and zoom slider. Uh, these two are closely related to each other. And we're gonna start by looking at zoom slider first. To adjust the zoom setting on the zoom slider, you can either use a keyboard shortcut or by clicking the plus and minus button. Uh, and uh, the great thing about zoom slider, they really allow us to zoom in and out with a very wide, wide range of settings. So as you can see, we can either zoom into a, a very specific uh, frame or zoom out so much that we can barely see the video clip. And the great thing about zoom slider is that it's, it can locate the playhead location where, where the playhead, playhead is and zoom in to uh, that particular, particular location in the, in the timeline. So as you can see that if I move the playhead to a different area and I start adjusting the zoom, it will instantly just center on the playhead and then uh, uh, continue to zoom in, uh, in that, uh, to that location. So that's a huge advantage, it's very dynamic. And now custom zoom, it pretty much hinges on the setting that we have in the zoom slider. So if we go ahead right now and click a custom zoom, you will see that it will find the playhead uh, and then it will just zoom into the level that we have set in the zoom slider. So uh, right now, as you can see, uh, we can start just, uh, you know, go ahead and make some fine adjustment uh, to our uh, video clip, to our footage. And we can just uh, click the full extend zoom so that we uh, can see the whole sequence and then click the custom zoom again. We'll just zoom into this particular frame uh, or this area and then make our adjustments. So 
Custom zoom、uh, is very much dependent on the setting we have in the zoom slider. It's something that you may use once in a while, but personally, I think the zoom slider is going to be something that a lot of us are going to be using、uh, when we do our video editing. Okay, so one last thing we're going to touch on is keyboard shortcut Shift Z, and let's see what that does. So right now in our timeline, I'm going to move the playhead to a different、uh, different area. Uh, and once we have placed our uh, uh, playhead, uh, we're gonna go ahead and right now just zoom in to this area to where the playhead is located. I'm gonna use the zoom slider. I'm gonna get to the most granular level so that we can all see each individual frame. And we're gonna go ahead and make some you know fine adjustments and what have you. And normally at this point, maybe we want to zoom out. And instead of clicking full extent zoom, what we can do is just hit Shift and Z. You will see that it acts almost like Shift full extent zoom. It allows you to see the entire sequence. And now we can move our playhead to a different area. And then we're gonna hit Shift Z again. And now what it does is that allows us to zoom in to the previous zoom setting that we have. So now we can hit Shift Z again. It will zoom out so that we can see the whole sequence. And then we can move our playhead. Hit Shift Z again. It will return to the previous zoom setting so that we can continue to make our、uh, fine adjustment. And then we can hit Shift Z again to zoom out to see the whole sequence. So, really, this is such a cool、uh, setting, in my opinion, because if you have a zoom setting that you're comfortable with and you know you're going to be using a lot, and then you know how you know using Shift Z will allow you to quickly return to that. And also allow you to quickly see the entire sequence, so you know that where you are in terms of the, you know, the other、uh, compared to the other videos in the timeline. So it accomplishes really these two goals, and、uh, it's a very helpful, very useful setting from my experience. So hope this helps, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.